We have more information tonight on a plane crash near Pine River that we first told you about last Friday night. Two people died in the crash. The National Transportation Safety Board, or NTSB, says they've taken the single engine plane that crashed to the Twin Cities for more investigation. Our Scott Sheehan has more in Pine River. The National Transportation Safety Board, or NTSB, says the two-person plane crashed shortly after takeoff just on the other side of Highway 1 on Friday around 6.30. Cass County Sheriff say 43-year-old John Witt and 32-year-old Stacy Sundquist, both from Pine River, were killed in the crash. The NTSB is currently investigating the cause of the accident, and they've started their investigation with witnesses' reports. The accident actually occurred on takeoff, the aircraft. Uh, came down about a quarter mile south of the airport. We do have several witnesses that indicated that the airplane was uh, what they described as low and slow uh, before it crashed. Friends of the pilot John Witt say Witt took over his father's business, Witt Aircraft Repairs, which was a part of the regional airport. They say he was very knowledgeable and a skilled mechanic, and the plane he was flying has been in the family for decades. His piloting skills were easily up to the task. Uh, particularly for that day, and it's an airplane that he was very familiar with. So um, this is something of a shock to, to everyone. Really a shame. The NTSB took the plane's remains to Minneapolis to continue their investigation, and they say it'll take them a while until they know for sure what caused the plane to come down. As far as the entire um, length of a general aviation fatal accident investigation, they run about 12 months on average. So it will be some time until we get to the probable cause of this accident. The NTSB says there's usually about 1,300 plane crashes each year, and about 95% of them are general plane crashes, like the private plane that crashed here in Pine River on Friday. In Pine River, Scott Sheehan, Lakeland News. The NTSB hopes to release a preliminary report within the next two weeks. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.